Видавництво «Лінгвіст» та Cambridge University Press представляють серію відеоуроків за підручником Quick Minds for for Ukraine. Hello. How are you today? Good? That is great. I'm fine too. Look. Do you know these pictures? Yes, these are pictures from our story. Do you remember it? Good. And do you remember the words from the story? Let's check it. Hmm. Jewelry. Steel. Connection. Mysterious. Newspaper. Hustle. And what about you? Can you beat me? Pause the video, scan the code and check yourself. Do you remember the words from the story? Well done! But do you remember the story? Why is mysterious age in all the newspapers? Imagine it's 1980. The mysterious H is a thief. He starts stealing jewellery from lots of shops in London. Next, he steals famous paintings from museums all over the world. Then, he steals the Queen's crown. My husband and I. <sighs> the story is in all the newspapers. After that, he goes to Paris. And steals the top of the Eiffel Tower too. What? But Grandpa, how do you know it's always the same man? Ah. Good question. He always leaves a note with the same symbol on it. The letter H. So what happens next? We try to catch him, but he always escapes. <laughs> it's a great story, but I don't understand. What's the connection? with the waiter at the restaurant. Ah, the waiter's wearing a ring with the letter H. The same H from the mysterious H's notes. Wow! So, why is the mysterious age in all the newspapers? Yes, because he steals the things. So many things. Right you are. Now, it's time for your pupil's book. Open your pupil's book, page 41. Do you still remember the story? Read and say. True or false? Let's check it together. Imagine it's 1980. The mysterious age starts stealing jewelry in London. And it is true. He is a thief only in England. And that is false. He steals things all around the world. He steals the Queen's clothes. 
it's false. He steals the queen's crown. The mysterious age goes to Paris. And it is true. He always leaves a note for the police. And it is true. The note has the letter M on it. And it is false, because he's the mysterious H. The mysterious H is very bad. He steals things even from the royal person. Look at the picture. What do you think? Who is the royal person? And who is the royal person in the story? The royal person in the story is the queen. What does the mysterious age steal from her? The mysterious age steals her crown. Right you are. Oi! The mysterious age is such a bad boy. Let's practice this sound. Oi! Pupil's book. Page 41. 4. Listen and say. Oi! 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 The boys hate noise, but Joyce enjoys noise. The boys hate noise, but Joyce enjoys noise. Well done! And it's time for your activity book. Get your activity book. Open your activity book, page 41. Look, we've got two pictures here. What can you say about picture one? Who is there? A woman and a man. What are they doing? Yes, they're having tea. Good. Maybe they're having breakfast. They're talking about something. What about picture two? There are two men. Good. What are they doing? They are fishing. Now, look at the phrases. Try to all the newspapers. Read the dialects and put these phrases into the right gap. Write the words, listen and check, then say with a friend. 1. <gasps> you're famous! Look, you're in all the newspapers. Oh no, I need to change my hair again. Oh no, it's getting away. Oh, Jeremy, you're not lucky today. Try to catch it again. You do it, Lionel. Maybe you are lucky today. Look, do you have the same? Good job! And now, let's play with our sound. Oi! Look and write. Oi! O-Y or O-I. Then write the words in the correct column. Activity book, 
Page 41. 3. Listen, say and check your answers. Oi. Noise. Coin. Oi. Boys. Toys. Roy. Joyce. Look, do you have the same? Noise, boys, toys, coin, Roy and Joyce. Check yourself. Good job. But now I want to play a game with you. Are you ready? We will need to find the pairs. Look. Umbrella. Let's find it now. No. Hmm. No. Sunny. I. It was here. Yes. Now we've got one. Okay. Snowy. Was it here? Yes. Okay. Now you can go on on your own. Now pause the video, scan the code and play the game. Do you remember the words? Well done. You remember the words. Now we can go to page 91. Look, you've got a few sentences here. You need to choose the correct word to complete the sentences. For example, the weather today is going to be fantastic. It's hot and sunny. There are no clouds in the sky. Can you go on? Let's check it together. The weather today is going to be fantastic. It's hot and sunny. There are no clouds in the sky. I love the sun, but I like cloudy weather sometimes too. I'm going to wear my boots and raincoat today because on the TV they said it's going to rain. I don't need an umbrella with those clothes on. On the TV, they said that this evening there's going to be a thunderstorm and some lightning too. But I'm not scared. Do you have the same? Well done! Well, we can talk not only about the weather. We can talk about the plants. Now, look at these messages. These are Dylan and Ruby's messages. Where are they going to go on holiday? Whose plans do you like better? So, whose plans do you like better? Mm-hmm, I see. Okay, now you need to read the messages again. Write sentences about the things that Ruby and Dylan are going to do. Let's check it together. Ruby's going to go on Mexican holiday. He's going to sweep, read a book and play games. Would you like to go with Ruby? 
I'd love to. Dylan's going to summer sports camp. He's going to play tennis. What about his plans? Okay. Well done. What was the easiest part of the lesson today? Mm hmm, I see. And what about reading? Was it difficult? Okay. Anyway, you did a great job. You remember so many words. You can talk about the weather, about the plants, and you followed the story about the mysterious age. You did a great job today! Thank you very much and see you next time! Дякуємо за увагу! До зустрічі на наступних уроках!